Hey everyone, and welcome back to Community Builds. Um, I'm not in the normal intro thing at the moment because I've been working on the world for Community Builds. Um, those of you that send in a creation, I will also, or trying to get my words right. Those of you that send in creations for Community Builds, I will send a message with the link for the community builds world. And then it should automatically download the tiles, but if not, the links for those will be there too. Um, and yeah, just, it's like a little auto part. I'll make an actual video for it, but either way, here we go. Um, first of all, is a realistic MSC Ayo Siko by Stealthy, yeah, Stealthy Green. It's the My Summer Car Van. Which I didn't realize until now. That's awesome. I used to love just putting around in this van when I had my wheel. So much fun. And it looks really good. From what I can remember, it looks exact. Like, exact. I thought it was the other door that opened, though, for some reason. I thought it was this side that opened. I like that little detail, how the door actually pops out and then slides open. That's cool. <clears throat> oh. Looks like the closing's a little glitchy, but it's fine. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to remove dog. It's probably making me lag. Nope. This van's just laggy. Okay, good to know. Why is the van so laggy? Got your typical suspension that you use. Could just be from like the doors and stuff. The wheel moves and whatnot. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't even notice the switch there. I don't think it's sectioned off in the game. Or might be. Like I said, I haven't played it in a long time. I should I should play my summer car again. I have it. If anyone wants to watch me try, and I mean try and play my summer car, because I wasn't any good at it before, let me know. But either way, um nice looking interior. Just the on button. I'll be back. <laughs> I should really read the description, but I just wanted to just drive it. Here we go. Tendle's really good. So laggy though. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Oh, stop. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, over there. Why is it so laggy? It could be the. Oh, that could be why. <laughs> the uh, the front end thing on a slope like that doesn't help. It looks really good, and it drives really good, until it gets really laggy. <laughs> so, fortunately, I'm going to move on to the next exit. Yes, that is the exit. Actually, I gotta check the lights and stuff first. I could get in again. Just lights. Yay, lights! Awesome. It's a neat way to do the turn signal. Cool. <laughs> Ready. It's the description. Let's see if there's anything in the description. Um... Ah, okay. The doors that made it laggy. But either way, that looks really good. Oh, the dash is even sloped. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, but on to the next car. 
which I believe the proper order would be this one. And it is a wide body mini by Repsaw 711. Their wide body mini Cooper. Ooh, it's got a K20. It's interesting. All wheel drive. And it's completely vanilla. This looks really cool. Ah, uh, the glitch welding. <laughs> Got the diffs, you've got everything. This is cool. Oh, and then you use pistons for detail. That's kind of funny. I haven't seen someone use pistons for detail like that before. There's the... Uh, is it turbo or naturally aspirated? That looks... Oh, it's got a turbo. That's cool. Little vanilla turbo in there. Interesting intake man. Or exhaust, sorry. No, no, that's the intake, that's the exhaust. Oh, it's got a hood exit exhaust, really? Okay. Massive wing. That's cool. This looks really cool. I'm curious to see how it'll drive. Perfect car to take over to the, uh, the racetrack. And here we are. I have to put the buildings and stuff back up, but... This will give us a good idea of how the car... <coughs> Excuse me. That sounds really cool, too. What's with that sensor? That's interesting. Oh! When you hit W, it moves that block, and I'm guessing that's for the taillights. That's a good way of doing it. Okay. And off we go. It's fast, that's for sure. It's not bouncing around or anything. A little bit of understeer. This is surprising. Oh, little bump track. I'm amazed at how well this handles. It's got simple suspension. Whoopsies, pay attention. It has simple suspension, but it handles really well. I, I'm barely having to let off the throttle at all. I didn't even have to there. And it's pretty fast. Like... <laughs> Jump. Ooh. Okay, I should have let off more there, but... This is awesome. It's really predictable, too. Oops, just, like, you can tell, I let off a little late there, but you can, for the most part, tell when you're going to need to let off for the corner, or whether you're not, really you steer a little bit more or less. Like, it's hard to find a car that handles like this, and this handles really good. <laughs> and it sounds really cool, too. And it looks really good. Like, it looks like an actual little mini. Awesome. Ugh. I guess it's tired. I'm too sleep. <laughs> yeah. It, that's awesome. Ooh, it's got a... Is that a tube chassis? 
Yep, it's got a back half tube chassis. That's cool. Front rails and everything. I love this car. If I could get a version of this without bearings, to kind of show off at the community builds track, that would be really cool. Because that's another thing I want to do with this world, is some creations, remove all the bearings, and have them just sitting around on the world. Like, they're supposed to be there, like people are testing them, something or building. But, anyways. Uh, almost the last one. There's a tile that was sent in, but I'm not sure if I can show it. But either way, this is a Subaru GC8 Group A rally car <laughs> uh, by Dasmash. Sort of a replica, sort of not. Yeah, it's a little, you can tell here it's short, but it looks really good. It looks like an Impreza. Uh, mods are on the Tacoma and more plates mod. Uh, detail. Door, leg from the doors. Uh, was a four door, but not missing it's two, really fast. Cage. Oh, well, I guess you, uh, you've uploaded it since doing this. Um, some stuff under the trunk. Interesting. I'll have to look at that. Um, no engine because it's not to scale with these wheels. <clears throat> right. There's something cute about having the back so short like that. <laughs> but... Front drive train there, your springs. Got a little bit of a complex suspension going on there. That's cool. I like how you even put an oil pan on the gearbox. That's a nice attention to detail. I find people usually leave that out. Got your exhaust, your drive shaft, all your controllers and stuff. That's a good way to do your controllers, just on the bottom of the chassis. I used to tuck them in between the chassis rails like that. But with the flat stuff, you can just put it in. Uh, differential, that makes it look like an actual e-diff. That's cool. Those, oh my god, that was a mistake. Yeah, that makes those actually look like e-diffs. That's cool. Uh, front. Oh, new. Nope. Nothing else. Yeah. Little, uh, muffler. You could put an elbow here and like straight pipe it. Just dump it in front of the back wheels. That'd be kind of cool too. Real life, that'd sound amazing. Okay, so the hood, I'm assuming, is down there somewhere. Or does the hood open? It doesn't look like the hood open. Oh, it does. I'm thinking it's eight. No, seven. There we go. I can count. Don't worry. <clears throat> Little four cylinder. That looks awesome. Tiny turbo tucked in there. What part is that? There's a weird part in there. Right under the turbo. But it looks like it's attached to... I don't know what that is. I don't know what mod that is. But you've got turbo, the dump pipe, intake, everything. Intercooler, radiator. Yeah, you've got all the details you need on this one. Okay. A truck. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. And it looked like they turn as it opens and closes. It does, but they do. It's like, leave us alone. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. I love that. Ooh, roof scoops, little antennas. Seven. That's a really good looking interior. That roll cage would hurt, but 
shifter, handbrake, uh, glitched dash. <laughs> this looks really, really good. Wow. Let's get it over to the rally course. Ooh, lag. Red signals. This is so cool. But over to the rally track. <clears throat> I'm not quite done the rally course, but. Oh, wow. We'll take a second to get over there. This road a little bit. <clears throat> this thing is so bouncy. <clears throat> like, I'm kind of glad at this point I haven't done much with the rally course. But, here it is. The rally top. And then over on that corner is the drift top. Which is an awesome little kind of easter egg thingy, I guess. There's a track over there that's special to me, that's all. But anyways, see how this does on the new rally course. I haven't done the rally track yet. I don't have a rally car. Like, like I said, it's not even really done, so I haven't had done any testing. But suspension on this looks and works so well. Looks so good and works so well. <laughs> if only the ground wasn't so bouncy. It's like there's bumps that aren't even there. Oh, watch where I'm going. Oh, oh a lot of oversteer there. This is awesome. I just add a couple more jumps, maybe some hidden things, altitude changes. Like if I made this part on a hill, maybe, and then, yeah, I'll do that. Maybe I'll make it like working your way up a hill and then working your way back down. But I'll get back into that in the other video. This Impreza, though, is awesome. And it looks so good. Four. I turned the turn signal on by accident. There we go. <laughs> Maybe I'll use this for the, uh, the video where I show off the rally tile when it's done. Between this and the Audi. I didn't realize this track was so long. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to do some elevation changes and whatnot. Just a normal flat tile is boring. Because like if I were to put a big hill there so this was a blind corner, that'd be a lot better. To put some logs and stuff sticking onto the track, maybe some narrow spots. This car looks so cool. The gold rims actually look like the ones that would be on the real one. The mud flaps there. Might need to shorten the rally course though. <laughs> It's a little long. Or maybe when I get rally cars, I'll leave them to the last one to do. And then, uh, well, I guess this is the last one to do today, so it's not too bad. Okay. 
Around one of the final corners. Tight hairpin almost. Oh, I messed up the grass. <laughs> Oopses. We are, we are at the end. This is an awesome little rally car. And it's like driving a rally car. It's the way it handles. It feels like it handles normal. It's really cool. I like it. But I'm going to go back over to the auto shop and restaurant, which is that place in the middle. It's so cool. And here we are. The place with a hole in them. In we go. Perfect. <laughs> That's an awesome little car. That was fun. If you were to remove the door, or the doors, and the hood, it wouldn't be as laggy, and it would be so much fun. That's one of the best handling rally cars I've had sent it. That, the Audi that I mentioned. Um, I think I've had a couple others sent in. Get the mini. Okay, so the fourth item that was sent in this week is a tile a uh, testing tile made by dirt paw i think could be wrong but i believe it was made by dirt paw. um it's in the description and i highly recommend you go check it out i can't show it right now because i would have to do a new world blah 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 but after you're done watching this go check out their new tile just make a new world throw it in and play. They have a little uh, a road course kind of like that. They have a drag strip, an oval track, and a off-road course I believe. And it looks really cool from the picture. Um, if when I go through and go do the tiles, because there's still lots of placeholders on this, if I can get it to fit in the community builds world and with permission, I will do so. It's like that is just random doesn't need to be there really or any of that but either way for now i am going to do the outro with these three awesome cars that'd make a cool rally car too but yeah either way awesome vehicles this week um yeah <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought, so I'm just going to end it. So, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Um, and stay tuned for the world video.